So you're in for a treat. Well, maybe you can be the judge of that when we get off the stage. But we're, we're uh, gonna make it fun. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna make it fun. So welcome to the Tom and Kelly show. Maybe wave on our screen. Wave on our screen. Okay. Hi everybody. Tom, where are we? Um. Oh my gosh. We're too close to the mic. Um. We're at the Olmsted County Free Fair. Woohoo! Been going on. on for like decades. Going on for decades. This is our second year coming back after being away for a while. Yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, it's fitting that we're on the free stage. Yeah, because you probably <laughs> wouldn't want to pay to see us until we sort of get rolling along in our little careers here of uh, YouTube videos, Olmsted County Master Gardener volunteers gone wild, something like that. Something like that, but we wanted to do this to, first of all, do some community outreach. We have a booth in the Horticulture Building. We're kind of in the back, so you got to chase us down. Um, but uh, we're back there today. We were there yesterday. We were there today. We were there, yep. we're there through, Friday, through Sunday. Saturday, and, and Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, so the Horticulture Building is just a couple buildings down. All kinds of wonderful things to see there. And we are Olmsted County Extension Master Gardener Volunteers. I'm Kelly Ray Kirkpatrick, Vice Chair of the Program. And... Um, should, and this should is, I say this? this? I'm Tom Bellins, you're the chair. Yeah, it's weird program. how that works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're essentially co-chairs. Yes. Um, and we have a surprise guest with us today. We have Vanna White. A, oh no, it's really not Vanna White. She well, has white hair. She's looking great. <laughs> and Vanna White is our past chair, Jane Ooh, Barton. Oh yes, so Jane Barton. So many of you probably know her from many years oh. back here, but she's many. Uh, many she has white hair. She has white hair. She has hair. <laughs> Two years. Yeah, I have white hair too. Yeah, but it's not much. So <laughs> but, uh, we're here kind of doing a version of our Tom and Kelly show. We usually are on Facebook Live every Thursday morning at 8.30. And the county fair invited us to do a show for you all. And I noticed nobody's getting up and walking away. Oh, there's somebody right there, Tom. She's getting up. So wait, wait. We have a, <laughs> we have a surprise gift for some audience participation. So stay tuned. <laughs> So we're normally on Facebook Live about 8.30 in the morning on Thursdays, and we're on the free stage today to have some fun, because we've got a YouTube channel called The Tom and Kelly Show. Imagine that. Very and, clever. And Very what are we clever. talking about today? Oh, uh, well, we're going to start with our priorities. Whose priorities? Yours and mine, or University of Minnesota Extension Master Gardeners? She's really, she's the smart one, right? So, yeah, exactly. It's a University of Minnesota Extension Master Gardener program as Which priorities. is in all of our counties in Minnesota, and we're about gardening. So, what are our seven priorities, Tom? Can you get these right? I'm going to try, but okay, uh, there's a, some name changes here. Yeah, there's been some name changes. Okay. So, they? the main one, which Jane leads, is horticulture skills. Learning more about horticulture. See, we're losing them already. There go two more, Tom. Okay, we knew all right. this would happen. It's okay. We're, this is what we're used to. Okay, it's and that's right. kind of what you expect. Ask a master gardener, right? Questions. Yeah, yeah. We can. Yeah. If we don't know the answer, we will get you the answer, and it'll be research based. You know, yeah, research database from land grant universities. We borrow from other extensions that might do more research um, in certain areas than University of Minnesota does, but they share knowledge, and that's what we do. So horticulture skills is one of our priorities. What's the second one? Um, one that you like, Kelly, local food. Local food, woohoo! Woo yes, yes, I'm all about local food for sure. Local food is a great priority. We've got a lot of community gardens in the city that we are managing and doing outreach, providing food to those in need. Um, teaching people how to grow food, and tonight at 6.30 is my local food 101 class. Oh it's my a, god. It's a free 12 session class, and I hosted it at the MLK Community Park um, Food and Learning Garden. It's a giving garden. Anybody can go in there and help themselves to the veg that's there. Got about four sessions left of that until September when we have our Harvest Fest yeah, with live that music. That is one of the, in the Martin Luther King Community Learning and we food, need food, food and learning garden. You'll get it right someday. I'll get it right eventually. So what else we have? That well, pollinator like, health, which you are you Pollinator are like really health, on. man. I'm all about perennial flowering plants, making sure, our, especially our native bumblebees, um, are uh, have a habitat. Have a habitat. habitat. Have a habitat. But, you know, it's important to them to get pollen and nectar um, so that they can care for their you know, their yeah, hive and their things hive, like that. Yeah. And then, of course, a lot of people are into monarchs, monarch butterflies. Um, yeah. They essentially poll pollinate too, and we have a lot of plants, you know, common milkweed and such that they like. And the swallowtail larvae are out now on all those parsley, celery family, carrot family plants. Who's got swallowtail larvae crawling all over their <laughs> their veggies in the garden? 
Everybody oh, knows she, what a monarch looks like, right? The swallowtail is that pretty yellow one. So, yeah. but anyway, so um, that's three: local food, pollinator, health, horticulture skills. We have clean water. That's another one. Clean of mine. water, and that's clean important water. for everybody. That is important for everybody. And hey, if nobody's visited the conservation building right over here in the corner, kind of behind us, the conservation is building also is awesome. You'll find Olmsted, um, Olmsted County Soil and Water Conservation District there. You'll find some ways to adopt a drain. There's a great display in there about all the stuff that goes down our storm drains. If it isn't attached, folks, in a rain event or a snow melt event, it goes into our lakes and rivers. So hey, hey. head into the conservation building. Not now, though, even though you want to ditch the show. You'll want to wait until our show is over because it's going to get pretty wild and crazy here in a few yep. minutes. And Kelly, I adopted a drain. Did you? What's the name of your drain? I, and I it is doing my, okay, even though I only vis need to visit it like four it's times like a less year. Than it's five nothing. minutes a year to keep it yeah. clean. All you have to do is look on when you go to adopt a drain. It'll take you right to your your address and it'll show yep. you drains in your local area. Yeah, that you can adopt. And so can all adopt the info's them. over there and Olmsted Soil and Water Conservation District. There's all kinds of great stuff about conserving our water over there. Okay, I got another one. What's okay, go. Plant biodiversity. Plant biodiversity. What is that? That's crazy. That's, that's really cool. That's like all the weeds that are in your gardens. You got a lot of different species growing. And they're invading. They're invading us. <laughs> Invasion. Invasion, but uh, probably uh, from a pest perspective, everybody knows about the Japanese beetles yeah, right Japanese now. Beetles. But garlic mustard is one that we uh, take try to address early in the yep. springtime. Mm -hmm. But that's an important one, and it just biodiversity in general. You know, having seeds, heirloom seeds, and things like that, keeping that going. Uh, the next one. Buckthorn. Oh, the next one. How about nearby nature? Nearby nature, and who doesn't like nature? And hey, biophilia. Children aren't having enough outside time, and our society is really being changed because of that. Most of, most of you sitting out there are older, I think. Yeah. No, no, that's so a young crowd from my perspective. There are some young ones, yeah, right, yeah. You know, we used to hang out and play kick the can on the sidewalk. We were outside playing in the woods, and now there's a lot of screen time. So our, our, our next generation is being affected by not enough nature, not enough, not enough plants in your life, not enough digging in the dirt. And so that's what Nearby Nature is about, is learning, oh, woo, is learning how to um, get nature into your life. Yeah, so Mother Nature just... Um, wind. In the wind. So we got Nearby Nature, pollinator health, local food, clean water, climate responsiveness. I don't like that name. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm supposed to represent yeah. UMN Extension, but I think it should be climate resiliency, not climate responsiveness. Yeah. We all need to we be got responsive. Voted out. You and I both voted for that. Yeah, we voted for that. We got so, voted out. So climate responsiveness, meaning um, pay attention to what's happening with climate change and adapt. Yeah, we, we need to agriculture adapt. and your gardening needs mm -hmm. and, and just collection of water. Collection of water. How often stuff. you mow your lawn in the summer? All Stop the summer. watering your yeah. lawn. A lot of those things. So that's to the changing climate. That's key. Now, what okay, else what's we got? The last oh one? my gosh, the last one. What is it? We got climate resiliency. Pollinator health, climate resiliency, pollinator health, local food, clean water, horticulture skills, nearby nature. One more. Vanna, help us out. Vanna, what's the last one? Oh my, we're blanking. Who knows? Who knows? A free pizza to Squash Blossom Farm, if you know what our seventh priority <laughs> is. Uh, Susan Waftal and Roger Nelson. Entertainment? Is that our priority? No. No, no. That's definitely, they're, they're not thinking it's our That's priority. Not. So Squash Blossom Farm has offered, if you can, we're going to move to a trivia game shortly, but they have offered a, a free pizza to somebody who answers the question correctly. So what is our seventh priority? Do we know? Why didn't you have these written down on your clipboard, Tom? Tom, where is your clipboard? Where is my I didn't bring a clipboard because I'm on stage. I see. And I didn't want to look like I, I wasn't prepared. But... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? What is it? Climate? Oh my gosh! Climate resiliency. We are bad. This is bad. We're gonna come back to that. We're gonna come back to that. That's nice. I bet the state level is just like, oh my gosh, oh get my them gosh. off the stage. Yeah. What are they doing? Yeah. yeah. So okay. Has anybody Googled it yet? Okay. No, nope, I don't think no? so. No, we got a big negatory good buddy so out there. So we're going to come up with that. So anyway, okay. we All have right. um, just so you let know, we're an extension of the University of Minnesota. Um, we, uh, we get a core course from the University of Minnesota that we take. We volunteer every year, so many hours, 
Last year, nearly 10,000 hours. Yeah, 10,000 hours were put out into Olmsted County to help people, to answer their questions, to grow food for folks, to help people sign up to adopt a drink, to go into schools in the summer and teach children's garden and garden, to just, to just do all kinds of things. And you know, you know the cost that they assign per hour for volunteers' hours? It's over $30 an hour. We put over $320,000 into the community last year. Rock your day. Yep. Rock your day. Pretty awesome. And we have a, about 100 active volunteers in the community right now, in Olmsted County, I should say. And we're expanding out into the county. We're at Oxbow Park now. We're in Orinoco. So we're trying to get, not just in Rochester, um, we've got some key places. Maybe some of you have noticed we've got a pollinator garden up there by the arena. We now planted um, and created a garden on the west side. And um, Steve Flint here helped us uh, coin the phrase Graham Park Gardens. Graham Park Gardens, Gardens. And pretty we're, awesome. And we're a partner of that and we're going to maintain not only this but the tree trench along where the farmer's market is and we're at the farmer's market. Yep. We're at May the through September. Market. Yep. So and come this week will be Nearby Nature. Nearby we'll nature. nearby nature. Shoot, that's, we already did that one. <laughs> yeah, we did. Unfortunately, we're not getting another one. We didn't get yeah, that I one. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. She's Googling. So, um, so, so we, yeah, we're about 100 volunteers. And if you have a question, just reach the extension office. Um, you know, we're on the, uh, we have an Olmstead County website extension. Yep. Scroll um, down to gardening. Yeah, yeah, 4-H, agriculture, gardening. Boom, there we are. And you can reach out to us. Um, Christine Schwartz is our... Uh, admin specialist and she'll she'll find the right contact for you whether we get a lot of questions just simple gardening questions yeah, yeah. lawns something wrong my my we've flowers made, we've made site visits to people's homes to help them with landscaping stuff so it's pretty it's we're pretty extensive yeah. throughout the county and we got a pretty large facebook group public facebook group so is it time to move into our trivia game is i Van, think so is i Van think so i think banna is getting ready are we going to get some audience participation with our trivia game time i would love to have a, a young person come up here and help me answer some of these questions Need somebody to ask a question here. So we're gonna. What we're gonna do is, this is gardening related, right, Anna? Why is it gardening? <laughs> okay, related? these are all gardening related questions. Oh my God! So we're gonna try to stump. And we're masters of Tom that, right? and Kelly. You're and stumping us? Yes. yes. And okay. I like. All right. What I need is like a scorekeeper. A scorekeeper. Who Kelly wants to keep stuff. score? Do you have any hands raised out there? Who wants to keep score here? Or just hold the sign. This might be, this might be pretty complicated. <laughs> yep. Keeping score. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Got any takers? No, no takers. Okay. Okay. We do have a prize for our best participant. Yep. We do have one. It's a nice one. So. All right. Okay. So okay. we'll just have Jane ask it, and then okay. we'll just go back and forth until and we'll until, she gives, okay. until she gives up. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna right. give up. I mean, we can make some little marks though. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Us, Vanna. So. Uh, should we take turns? Yes, I think you I'm alternate just yell back the and forth. If I know it. She, I'm going to try and annihilate Oh, you want to do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to annihilate me. Whatever. Yeah. She I'm gonna, does it all yeah. the time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to start with Watch this the show, right folks. Here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. What University of Minnesota Extension Master Gardener priority should Clean water. start with when brewing water? Clean Ooh. water. Score. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even hear the question. <laughs> yeah. I'm just guessing. I had a, I had a one in seven chance. Okay. Go you're ahead. right. Okay. You're right. That was first. I don't even remember. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Tom got a okay. point. Good next, for him. Next. Are next. hops cumulus lupulus native to North America? No. The answer is yes. Are they really? And tell yes, us they why. are. Tell us why, Tom. For you. Well, they are in Europe and also in, in South America. But the, the thing is. The culture hops were brought in by the Europeans, so we had hops going around. It just wasn't. We did really. Humulus lupulus. Now we do have an invasive hop mm -hmm. called Humulus japonicus, or Japanese hops, yep, yep. So, which is a very invasive plant. So, but yes, it is. It is. So it, hops it didn't. It. They're not native to Europe then. They're, they're, they're native, native to Europe. No, they're native to Europe. They're, they're, they were around the world. Just, yeah, they were around several continents. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Got it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Neat. So I good. learned something new today. I like yeah. the theme yeah. behind yeah. these two. I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Are we having beer afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're not. Right. Supposed, I think right. we're not supposed to say Humulus beer. Humulus lupulus. Yeah. Humulus lupulus. Well, they lupulus. moved that beer garden lupulus. away from us. That's a good thing. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Go, Jane. Go. Right. Is it true that there are male and female hop plants? I'm going to slow down. Yes. <laughs> uh, wanna, Wait a second. What? Please so the term. So on. you have. So the, tell us more, Tom. Yeah, they're dioecious, right? They're dioecious. Dioecious. Nice. See, she knows how to say it. I, I can just. Can you name some other plants that have male and female flowers, Tom? Uh, in the same family, the cannabis family, yes, marijuana, yes, <laughs> for Jeez, example. No. Okay, but but plants. Yes. Hey, that's a tough one. I know ones oh, that have different, on, flowers, different flowers. Different flowers. Okay. What? Bell peppers. Oh my Bell gosh. peppers. Come on up here. We have an artist yes. participant. Anybody else? No. Uh, How about use? Use? Yeah. Gee, I have three U's. Do I know which one is which? I can't tell. Texas Media. I'm going to have to ask you. Texas <laughs> yes. Yeah, you. I'll ask you. Definitely male, female. All right. Anybody else have, know what plants have both male and female? They're, and if they're not dioecious, they're, how about, they're how about mono. Monaceous. Monaceous. How monaceous. about the cucurbitaceae family? All the squashes and cucumbers? Yep. They have male and female flowers. Well, Can you name any more, Tom? You haven't been able to name one I've yet. I've named, um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty shy on that. But the thing that's important with hops is the female plant is the cones. It's the flower. What a shocker. It's where the lupulin is. It's what adds the bittering and I flavor. Like, yes. I love how it smells, the cumulin yeah. and lupulin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The, All right. Okay, the, I'm ready score, for, I'm ready. So, the score so far is three, Tom, Kelly, Joe. Oh, yes, oh I'm God. ready for another beer question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what is the scientific name for barley? Oh, it's in the Poaceae family. Yes, it is. The grass, the grass family. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Tom, gonna... you should know this. You've been growing barley the last two years. You should know this. You gave me this question. Ardia right? vulgara. He gave you the question. Ardia vulgara. That is so cheating. What is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying it is, the Latin name? Yep. So Ardia you... vulgara. Nice job. But that's not, that's not that how you say it. But well, yeah. if I it's in the grass family. Is it Variagata? No, it's just Vulgara. Oh, Vulgar. 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 Oh my gosh, Vulgar, you say Vulgar. Okay. Vulgar. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Some other beer-related questions. Yeah, I like how he's giving you the questions, but he doesn't really know how to pronounce the answer. Yeah, no. uh -oh. Okay. All right. Four, four Tom. Okay. Zero answer. me. Yeah. All it's right. okay. I like it. It's all right. I feel like I'm in the Kentucky Derby and I'm way ahead. Like and I'm out of, I'm going to run out of steam pretty maybe, soon. Maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm yeah. going to lose right, it. Yeah. Real quick here. All okay. Right. All right. We're ready. Why? Why is Irish moss? <laughs> what? Sagina? Sabu, sabulata. Sabulata? It's a seaweed. Sub, subulata. Seaweed, a seaweed? Yeah. Okay. Why is Irish moss? A seaweed added to the boiling kettle when brewing beer. <laughs> <laughs> they are all beer questions. These are all beer questions. Oh well, God. maybe. Maybe not all of them. but Well, it's a fining agent. And fining? It helps Tell us what fining is. I fining. Don't know what fining it, is. Helps clear, it helps clear the beer. And it also helps um, avoid uh, what they call chill haze. So it's kind of a... Refining, fining, fining stuff. Nice, yeah. cool. So yeah, I Irish sprinkle moss. a little spine it oh. Irish moss in when I'm doing in the, the kettle. And what's the Latin name? And for I, have Newt, I have newt. I have newt. I have newt. So what is the Latin name for Irish moss then, Tom? Oh my God, she just said it. I just said it. Yeah, yes. well you repeated. Uh, is it Sagina Sabulata? Sagina Sabulata. Well, there's a G followed by an I, which be a soft G. Sagina Sabulata. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. All right. She Next. wants to remember that. There's okay. a, it's actually, I think, Scottish moss, too. I think they're kind of, it's very Scottish close. And they're seaweeds. They're yeah, seaweeds. So okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. okay. Now we're into the final now, now round. Final round. Now, Kelly, neither Tom nor you have seen any questions. Okay. So the tropical <laughs> flower name, Strelitzia, is also known as which kind of bird? What? Starling. A tropical flower named Strelitzia is also known as which kind of bird? I have no clue. Starling? No. Strelitzia? Strelitzia. Strelitzia. 
Okay, I'll give you a, give you a hint. Think about tropical flower. Oh, parakeet. And bird. Parakeet, toucan. Parakeet. Um, uh, uh, what's the other one? Um, Jeez, I don't know. Uh, flamingo, flamingo. Think in Hawaii. Hawaii? I haven't been there. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been there either. Okay, how about, oh, we lost her. Anybody, <laughs> anybody know what, uh, What's a bird in Hawaii? Bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. Oh, paradise. oh my God, that's oh, right. Oh, sure, sure. Yes, yes, and yes. there's a plant. Yes, we have yes, a plant. Yes, a bird plant. and a plant. Okay, this, this one, one is a bird easy, and a plant. Easy peasy, here we go. Sure it is. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Which flower can change its color from blue to pink by adding acid into the soil? Uh, well, hydrangea. Yeah, but which species of hydrangea? Oh, because my God, there's only I know. one. I there's know. only one. I know, and it's the uh, one that starts with a P. No, it's not paniculata. It's not ah, hydrangea paniculata. It's not paniculata. It's okay. not hydrangea arborescens. It's hydrangea Some, summer. macrophylla. Macrophylla. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's the only one that will change. So I don't know if people know that. If the, you know, the hydrangeas, yeah, you can change the soil a little bit. Maybe yeah, with the acidity. Yeah. And then it'll go yeah. from blue to pink, right? Yep. yep. And yep. that's pretty yep. interesting because I know hydrangeas are big time bloomers now. And we're going to talk about that on Sunday if we... Oh uh, yeah, with pruning and caring yeah, for your hydrangeas. Yeah, now, are topics. you also going to talk about other woody ornamentals that that are spring or summer blooming? So you can pull those into the the mix with pruning techniques. You know, you want to leave the old wood, or you can sure, cut right away that. after a bloom because it blooms on new wood. Sure. You can okay. learn a lot. Lilacs have fallen there. All right, next, okay. next. So we're getting close. We're close on these. Yeah. Okay. Which famous French artist painted a series of paintings of water lilies? Mon Monet. Monet. Oh. Ooh, tie. Tie. Have you have you been to Giverny? Yes, I have been there, and it's wonderful. And he actually created that pond. He dammed yeah. up the local creek. He got approval from he the city or whatever. Damn it. He scooped it, he scooped it out. Scooped it out, and yeah. Right. So yeah. it's not yeah. a natural okay. pond. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay, right. we're ready. Saffron is extracted from which Crocus. flower? Way to go. There we go. There's the Kelly I know. But which species of crocus? Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, okay. What part of the flower is it, Tom? <laughs> it is... A stigma. The stigma, yeah, it's a okay, stigma. Here we go. Which yeah, is, we're ready. From which movie does the song Edelweiss come from? Sound uh, of Music. Sound of Music, yeah. Okay. Okay. I got that. She got, it. she got it. She got her sound in before me. <laughs> so it is, she is quick. No, she's quick. Yeah, watch, are, the show. Are, watch the show. Watch the show. She's quick, okay. yeah. All right. She's quick. These are good questions. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I googled this uh -oh. and it came up under uh, gardening. Quiz trivia for older people. For older, for older nice. people. Okay, so idea. Kelly, don't, don't, don't. You, you can give me a little bit of weird. Okay, what young girl's name is associated with Green Gables? Anne. Anne of Green, yeah. Is that, is that the a book? A and E, Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables, okay. Okay, now Kelly's just about caught up with me. Okay, the score right now, folks, is seven to five. Yeah, yeah, and I'm right. gonna. Probably keep okay, stumbling one, here. This one might stump, stump you. Okay. Oh. What flower does Dom Edna Everage give away at the end of her show? Who? That's what I like said. Gladiolas. Yes! <laughs> did you know that? Did you know or did you totally guess? <laughs> I, did just, you look? I just said, because, yeah. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. Wow, good I did not you. know that. I mean, who is that? I was going to say what poppies, and then I said, that's probably not good anymore. What but show is that? Because it's a, a showy big thing, and you can you can. She's give an Australian actress. Yeah, okay. I see. All right. Okay. Oh, All gosh, right. I might hang on. I might hang on. There, there you okay. go. Hang on. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. That was that page. Is it 2.30 yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nervous? <laughs> no. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, this is for the lightning round. The lightning oh round. My oh my god. Okay. That's, All right. that's exciting. Okay, we don't Look, want any lightning. People are flocking in to okay. sit down for the lightning round. Here we go. That's the lightning round. Okay. okay. Uh, the Tom and Kelly show. Multiple choice. Okay. All right. Oh gosh. Which is not a benefit of mulch to keep soil cool, to prevent weeds, to dry out wet soil. Duh, see. To dry out wet soil. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to make your own marks now? Sure. I'll help okay. you out there, Vanna. Yeah. Tom, I had a marker for you, but it's okay. down there. You won't need one. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fade here quickly. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Wilson's Wonder is Wilson. what kind of nut tree? 
Walnut, hazelnut, chestnut. I'm going to say walnut. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Can you name the species for the walnut tree, Tom? Oh, stop. <laughs> yes. If you want to know the genus and species and the family and the order. Was that English? Wait, is that English walnut or black walnut? It wasn't oh. specific. Oh. Okay. See, that's All right. Which of the following is not a winter veggie? Which of the following is not a winter veggie? What climate are we in? We are in a zone four or zone four B maybe area, yeah, so we're pretty. Work with me. Tomato, parsnip, leek. Tomato. Tomato. You beat them. Unless, unless of course you, you live close to the equator, you grow them all. The Tom, you won that. All right. Which is a shady plant? Daylily, fern, peony. Fern. fern. You said it before. Shady. Yeah. <laughs> What's the score? Eleven to six. Eleven to six. I'm. Are you gonna give up? I'm giving no, up. I'm right. giving up. <laughs> she okay, doesn't give up. Believe me. Right. Which part of the horseradish plant can we can be made into a sauce? Root, flower, leaves. All three. What root? Somebody said root. Come on up here and get a prize. Get up here and get a prize. Get we don't have a prize with us, but we're going to take a name. We've got to get name. his contact information yep. so that he can get that free pizza from Squash Blossom Farm. Yep. Step Woo. right up here, sir. Okay. Be careful. Hey, i got a piece of paper you can write on. If you yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for chiming in. Perfect, all right. Give us your email address too, can you please? Thank you, for you. Thank you so much. So we want to thank Susan and Raj. Technically, it's, Raj Blossom it's, technically it's all three parts. We were eating unripened radish seed pods today at the MLK garden as we were harvesting. So you can okay. eat all, all those parts. Of the okay, a little, a little insight into my experience here. When I first had horseradish, I actually thought it was from horses' hoofs. I don't know, because oh obviously I didn't like it. <laughs> and, you're, and you're a master. Gardener. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, put some wow. horseradish on it. But of course, wow. no, I didn't. I didn't okay. eat. Okay, we're ready for the next <laughs> yeah, okay. one, Van. Uh, horseradish, okay. Okay, so how, many, how long may seeds lay dormant in the ground? A few days, a few weeks, a few years. Years. Years, years, decades, centuries. Oh, Tom? Tom. Yes. All right, which of the following? Right. Ready, audience? Which of the following chemical elements are not among the main ingredients in fertilizer? Not, okay? Potassium, oxygen, phosphorus. Oxygen. Oh, we got another audience member. Yay, us. come on up and get a, get a prize. Woohoo, come on up. What's our next prize? Um, I don't know. We're going to have to have flowers. I, I, I think you can have him choose. You can have him choose. Okay, yep. We'll, we'll email you or, or so oxygen is obviously in the air so it's needed oxygen is needed oxygen is needed thank you oxygen is needed oxygen is a component of soil structure but not a component of fertilizer and you know who needs oxygen besides plants and us microbes right Right, Kelly? Microbials, right? Micro, they need them. They, they, help make, they help build the soil and the nutrients and stuff. Microbes? They need oxygen, right? So Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, I think so, but they are potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen, right? NPK, yes. NPK. Do you know what the K is for? Potassium. Good, good job. Oh my gosh. I'm not a You are, you're hot. Still, <laughs> since still our episode last week, you are still okay. Oh God, okay. All right, okay, go, this Jane, one. go. Okay, next one. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden, garden grow? grow? Yeah. What did Mary grow in her garden in the nursery rhyme? Oh, Dozy doats and lambsy doats and little lambsy divey. Is that a different rhyme? That Mary, Mary, not. quite contrary. How does your garden, garden grow? grow? What did Mary grow? Hawkeye. What? Cockle shells. Cockle shells Thank you. and Thank you. two more. And two beetle bells. No. Something bells. Something bells. Cockle bells. Wow, no. I don't even remember that one. I remember there was a crooked man. <laughs> wow. Are you ready? Yes. 
pretty maids all in a row. Pretty maids all in a row. That's a flower? And the first one is silver bell. Silver bell with silver bells and pretty maids all in a row. That's right. Nice Very job. Good. Thank nice you, job. Mary. <laughs> well, this little one has one of us. Good. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to, we'll get should we, should we come on up here? We'll get another name. Gotta get another name here. Come on up so you can write down your name. Oh my gosh. I love your dress. <laughs> so we're gonna declare a winner now? No, I'm just Mom, Mom might, Mom's coming up. Good. Okay, That's great. awesome. Good. We're gonna get your name. Is that okay? Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, I can't believe it's still on the water. That's awesome. Hi there. There you go. I think she needs a mirror sweetheart. We'll follow up. We'll follow up. Really appreciate you guys listening to us, I guess, for what it's worth. But when we do shows, they're usually, what, 10 to 15 minutes long? Yeah. And we actually do have a topic. We're in a location. We do. So, yeah, so That's we're, the where are we, because Tom, like, where are we? Email or something? Yeah, email and a phone number. And please. we've done... So this that's is why our, we're really struggling here, because how, how many minutes do we have here now? This is, yeah, we're 30 yeah, this minutes. Is, this is Struggleville. Yeah. yeah. But they're hanging in. Look at that. They're, they're so hanging lively. in. But, so you know, lively. so you can go on YouTube, the Tom and Kelly Show, or you can go on Facebook and look for it. But we, um, we, we do a show. We did Thank one on composting the other day. We do topics and gardening. Um, a lot of topics, a lot of fun things. Um, I'd like to have a little costuming involved. And, and we have our give and take. Wait a minute. I'm just getting warmed up. I have more questions. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no. I'm just trying to fill the gap here. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah, all right. I'm ready. In the song, a white sports coat. Which flower was mentioned? Carnation? We're not that old. We're just not this old. Carnation? The pink carnation. Okay. All right, now we're going to go back to... Are we going back session. to beer questions? Kelly, yeah, you're, you're the young one. Well, I do have so, some yeah, beer questions, but I think Tom is already... I'm going to turn my mic off. Here. <laughs> let, me, let me skip to... I have like five... Are we going to do our song? What song? <laughs> yeah, we have song? a song? I'm working on a rap song, you know. You are? The Tom and Kelly Oh show my gosh. Okay. This, this right. should be good. The, it, Here we go. Well, I'm Here saving it, it for later in the season. <laughs> I did my own research about beer. Oh beer. no. Uh oh. Going hot. So here we go. Um, an old farmer's trick to place hops under your pillow would do what? And you it's a multiple it's a multiple hops. choice. Um, avoid a hangover. Wait a minute. No, we, want, we want the multiple. <laughs> multiple choices are an old farmer's trick to place hops under your pillow would do what? A. Bring rain. Oh, okay. B. Ensure a good night's sleep. C. Ward off pests. Good night's sleep. Good night's sleep. Awesome. Because it is kind of a. Yeah, beer makes you sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Beer makes you sleepy, yeah. but actually hops has some, okay. some characteristics. Here's another, here's another beer one that I researched. Oh, wait. I didn't know that. Shutting the mic off. Okay, yep. <laughs> A high alpha acid beer is suited for flavor, which you explained earlier. What is a low acid level suited for? Lager. A. Burr. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> B, aroma, C, color. Aroma. Okay. It's either bittering or aroma. Yes, yeah, there's is only two. A, is it aroma? It's aroma. Nice, okay. nice. Um, so Tom, you guys know Tom's a master brewer. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, not he a does, master brewer, but... He, d he does uh, the Bellsmith tap rooms. There's an east and a west <laughs> Bellsmith tap rooms. So you'll have to maybe find him. And if you're lucky, he'll he'll answer your friend on Facebook. You know, yeah, home brewer is one of your best friends. I, uh, I have he does a lot more. of home brewing. But yeah. more. Pretty, he turns <laughs> out some pretty She's good beers. She's got another question. Got what okay. state in the lower 48 grows the most hops? Washington. Washington. Ty. Okay. What valley? The Skagit Valley. Yakima. Yakima. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Skagit grows a ton of flowers. Oh, okay. Yep. Which direction do hops grow? Oh. <laughs> 
Boy, do they. <laughs> clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. randomly. Clockwise up, yeah. they're binds, and they go clockwise, always clockwise. Right. And it's thought that it's uh, topogenic, that it's actually, or that it, topogenic, it actually follows the sun, oh, right? Oh, really, yeah. like sunflowers. Yeah, it's sunflowers, that it's, oh, yeah, another word that I can right. barely spell. Yeah. Hops, hops nice. is a cousin to what other plant? I just said marijuana. it, marijuana, yeah, so. Okay. All right, um, and do hops grow as a vine, as a vine, vine as, -E. or as twine. Vine. <laughs> she got that one. Okay, then I went on this site. This site is from... I think Kelly's... Uh, uh, we're almost done here, talk to me after you this. Are <laughs> you are appearing to be very intelligent here in this show, Tom. I know. I'm one this subject. Awesome. I'm one this subject. Awesome. I did not find to him. <laughs> okay, this is from a children's site. And it's called the tiny owl. So here we go. How can you tell the age of a tree? Number of leaves, measure the height, or the number of rings. 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 Yeah. I think everybody knows that, right? Yep. Yeah. What is not a way seeds are spread out? Bury in the ground, float in the wind, or stick to an animal? Bury in the ground. Good. Bury in the ground. Good. You guys are doing fabulous. I'm almost, I'm almost done with my part of this show. Too bad, too bad there wasn't another uh, performer or entertainment coming oh on the stage. We would have been off by now. Okay. Yeah, we would. Uh, well, we then this been, wouldn't be a. People would have a little job. reprieve from yeah. us. Okay, what do all plants need to grow? A pot, water, or oxygen? Water. Water and oxygen. oxygen. No, no, they don't need oxygen. They, they don't, don't need, need oxygen. Not all plants. Keep the oxygen, oxygen in the soil, but the yeah. plant doesn't. You said what? Huh? What did she say? Never mind. <laughs> and what part of the plant grows in the soil? The roots, the stem, Tom, you know what I'm talking Wait, let me think. Um, I'm going to go with roots. 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 Root. Vega. Roots. Here. Got it. So, I mean, love those root vegetables, right? So. All right. Are we done here? I don't know. Are we done I here? think we're done. I think the audience is... Thank you towards, for your attention. Uh, we'll see you in the heart building. Yep. Thanks, everybody. The Hort Building's a couple buildings down. Log on to our Facebook page, UMN Extension, Olmsted County Master Gardener Volunteers. We answer a lot of questions. We do our Silly Tom and Kelly show on Thursdays, Facebook Live at 8.30, but you can also find us on our YouTube channel, uh, The Tom and Kelly Show, and we promise that the videos are never as long as this show was. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for joining Thank us. Thank you very much, and we... Uh, Rock we'll your day. Rock your day. Hi, we're going to go off now. Free puzzle solving on the go. So you can